Do you want to import Japanese retro games? Maybe you want to import Japanese consoles like the Sony PlayStation X, which is a built-in PS2 and just loads more really. These consoles are fantastic, but perhaps you just want to stick to video games, PlayStation 1 for example, or perhaps some Soul Blade on again the PlayStation 1. Some of you might be fortunate enough to be able to read Japanese and will be able to plow through the likes of Biohazard 2. I actually love the box art or Tomb Raiders? Raiders? Anyway, perhaps you don't have a PlayStation 1 and the Super Famicom is your thing. Russian Beat is a hidden gem if you like Streets of Rage and Final Fight, you'll love that. But recently, I got this lot from Japan and today I'm going to walk you through everything step by step on how you can import Japanese retro games for you incredibly cheap. I didn't get these from Japan, I got them from this retro game hunt here, which I believe you'll really enjoy watching after this episode. But for now, let's dive into this awesome guide. So like me, you're probably wondering how you can get those games into your game room at a very cheap cost. And today I'm going to show you exactly how I use it, what my method is and how you can do it too. Quick disclaimer. Thank you to my friend Tom that walked me through this step by step. I can't take credit for any of this. This is his process and I'm basically just kind of showing you now. I've done it twice. I've got lots of really cool things here into the lady lounge. So we're going to head over to Sendico. Make sure you make an account and then you just literally go from there. Let's take a look. So once you go to senderco.com, let's assume you've made your account. You'll be greeted with the main page. We've got Yahoo Auctions, Makari, Ratukan and Yahoo Shopping. There are, of course, other shops. I mainly use Yahoo Auction and Makari. There's so many things you can buy on here. It's not just video games either. Um, and I like Makari because that tends to be everything is like buy it now. So you don't have to wait around for auctions, but it doesn't really matter you guys can just do whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and type in something like say Super Famicom games, really generic. I know we're going to hit search and this actually doesn't bring a great deal up, uh, but you can see the types of things that are on here. It does give you the yen price. And of course it gives you the sterling price. You can of course change to your native currency. You can do that in the top right corner. Let's go ahead and load now. Nothing much here. Just something I want you to be aware of, if you type in, say, let's go Streets of Rage 3, a quite a common title. You can have it in English or Japanese. You can just slide the translation slider. Sometimes when you hit search on a game, it barely brings anything up, which kind of baffled me completely. But if you change it to say like the Japanese stuff, it will bring more up. It doesn't bring anything up on Yahoo Auctions, but on Makari, it will bring things up. So you just need to be mindful to use your translation slider top tips now things to look out for so ridge race let's just type this in on the playstation one now don't worry i'll walk you through everything even to down to the package that i received um right throughout this video so we've typed in we want to buy a ridge race so we've got the yahoo auction stuff we can see here at uh, three pound and 24 pence let's just click into this it can take a while and we've got all the information here we can see the inland shipping is included the opening bid is 600 yen and then there's just other random bits. Again, you've got to log in if you want to buy the item. You cannot bid on an item unless you have money in your wallet. When you've created your account, you go into like your profile, you can add money there. I'm not going to walk you through that. That's really easy to do. So let's take a look at this. We've got Ridge Race Revolution. This is Makari now. We'll click on this. And we can see that the sender co fee is 500 yen, um, which is right here and inland shipping is included, which I'm gonna talk you through. That must say included. The total buy it now price is 10 pound and 75 pence, which I think is really, really good. Let's buy an item. So this is my watch list, which separates it into the different shops. We're going to click on Makari and this is, or I was at the time, my current watch list. So we're going to buy, we're gonna click on Wipeout it will bring everything up. It is in English. I don't know why it's showed in Japanese, but you need to pay attention here. 
please be mindful that in order to make a purchase, you must have the correct money in your account. Add 500 yen because Sendico charge a 500 yen fee for every single purchase. You also need to make sure that inland shipping is included because when you buy this, the seller will send this parcel to the Sendico factory or warehouse and they package it for you. So it must say included. So we've established that and we're gonna hit buy it now for seven pound and two pence. So we confirm the order and then what we're gonna do, it just kind of confirms everything. It will let you know when you've paid for your item. So when you go back into your watch list, it will say this, then it will say seller negotiation. Don't be alarmed, this can take a few hours. And then once that happens, the seller will send everything to the Sendico warehouse. So you'll get emails throughout this entire process. And you can see here that all of my packages that I'm going to ship in one parcel is now in the warehouse. So we're gonna put all of these in one parcel. You click create parcel at the top. Then it will take you to a screen where you add your address. You simply click your address, which is dead straightforward. You don't obviously need to see that. And then it goes through all of this. So it lists all of your items. I declare everything as junk and everything as used. So then you need to simply scan down on here. It tells you what the total value of your parcel is. It's just over 20,000 yen. So just be mindful that in the UK, anything over the value of 135 pound, you will pay import tax on. So you need to make sure that your parcel is under the value of 135 pound. You will not pay import tax. Dead easy. And use a currency calculator uh, to work that out. So send a co offer loads of different shipping i normally use fedex because that's what tom used and that's what he said has always worked for him and i typically get my parcels within like two to three days from this exact process here but you might want to um, get different i don't know use a, a small surface some of them will give you the price in yen as to what it will cost some won't but again don't be alarmed you can see here fedex which we're going to click it doesn't give me the price of the shipping, but we'll click it, we will scan down, we will hit next, and then we will also click protective packaging and stretch wrap film, and then we will create the parcel, and that's cost me an extra 700 yen for that protective packaging. Once we hit confirm, we will then be seen with this screen, it says awaiting packaging, FedEx. Once this is generated, we will then get our shipping quotes from Sendico. And a few days later, I get an email asking me to pay 4,913 yen, which is already in my wallet. That covers my shipping. Again, I think that was about 25, 26, 27 pound within that vicinity. And it's a waiting dispatch. It's that straightforward. And then within two to three days, your parcel will arrive at your home. I need a few seconds of your time to tell you about channel memberships. If you guys want to become a channel member, click join from the main page or the second link in the description. There are three tiers, all with different perks for you if you want to become a team member. Thanks for your time. Let's continue with the video. Pretty darn easy. If I'm brutally honest, I tend to go for the buy it now stuff, which is on your Macari marketplace over on Sendico. So Sendico, like I showed you, has Macari, Yahoo Auctions, as well as others. Yahoo Auctions is your an auction site, of course, but you can find the buy it now prices. And again, my key tips are to make sure that the shipping says included. And remember that when you top up your wallet for every purchase, Sendico take a 500 yen fee. So you can essentially just add 500 yen on top of every purchase. But what I showed you in the video, they're right here in my hands. We have a theme aquarium wipeout, as well as this gorgeous white and lime green Vita, which is getting modded by my brother. I'm going to be using that as my primary emulation device for when I travel. I did have a PSP, but I sold it. 
because I just felt that the battery life on the Vita was a little bit better for those long travel hauls, especially to some of the long distance retro game hunts that I've got coming up. Now I just want to talk a quick minute about this theme aquarium. We never got this in PAL regions and I wonder why. If you're familiar with of course theme park and theme hospital, you'll be very familiar with the premise that is a theme aquarium. You can build your own aquarium. Unfortunately, this does not play in English, but I really wanted a copy of this. Not only is the box art absolutely clinical, you get these gorgeous stickers inside. So when you're looking for a copy of this and I paid 999 yen, the British conversion is this. Pretty darn cheap. Make sure you get your stickers in this. Um, and wipe out, weirdly, I don't own a copy of Wipeout here in the collection, so I wanted to get a copy for £7 and 2 pence. Really, really cool. So there's lots more in my watch list to be bringing over here. Again, keep all your parcels under £135 and you won't pay any import tax. So you need to be very, very careful of that. So I'll be adding lots more stuff and I'll be plonking it all over my Instagram. I've got loads of stuff coming over and it's really, really exciting. So if you're into your Japanese retro games, you're in the right place. And I definitely want to know what you'll be picking up in your first Japanese shopping trip let me know in the comment section